here with Brian Barr, who is president, founder, and CEO of CAT. CAT is a, a name everybody knows, but not this CAT. This is an exceptional company from California. We're, we'll, we'll see more and more of in Europe. But maybe you can give our European readers a little bit of background, what makes CAT so different, and then we'll, we'll talk a little bit about the technology that makes these speakers so exceptional and the demonstration we have really out of this world. Thank you. Absolutely. First, I want to say we're an engineering company first and a speaker manufacturer second. Mm -hmm. There are many people that try to make speakers of different levels. There's entry levels at $100 or $200 a unit. There are speakers at $1,000 a unit, $5,000, $10,000 and up. We actually start about $1,000 a unit and go up to $1 million a unit. But we would never build something and just drop it off. Mm -hmm. If you go into the recording studio world, I kind of like to give two extreme examples. In the recording studio world, a good studio starts with about a million dollars in equipment, and it goes up to over $10 million in equipment. And everybody who touches that studio, from the men and women who design it, to the men and women who record inside it, to the men and women who sing and perform inside of it, every single person knows what to expect. Our company, we've worked with some of the most famous musicians in the world. We've worked with some of the wealthiest men and women in the world in over 20 countries. We've done systems on private large Boeing jets, and we've done systems on mega yachts and homes and even outdoors. And some of our clients have been privy enough to understand what a recording studio experience or a live music experience can give them. Many people have heard a Guaneri or a Stradivari violin. Many people have heard a grand piano. Many people have heard someone drum on a real drum kit. If you've heard these type of things, you no longer want to hear sound coming from a cheap plastic speaker in the ceiling. Background music is one thing, but if you actually want to enjoy your life, why not hear the drums in the background? Why not hear the large piano in the background? Well, many of these people that you work with are actually performers, so they really know what real music is all about. Absolutely. That's one of the key factors in that. Or people who really start to understand that music can become a large part of their life. Even if they're listening to a home theater, they would like to hear people caressing the guitar strings. They'd like to hear people touching their instruments. When, when a couple kisses on the screen, they want to hear those lips touch. It doesn't want to be lost. Even if it's a Harley Davidson starting in the side of the room, they want it to sound like the motorcycle. You know, a lot of people like to play Top Gun or Jurassic Park and boom somebody out of their theater in five minutes. Well, to my knowledge, no one who's watching this right now has ever heard a Tyrannosaurus Rex. No one's ever heard the back of a jet engine. What you want to do to, when you sample high-end audio gear is to see, can it replicate reality? Can a kick drum go instead of boom? Or the piano like we had before was absolutely... Can, absolutely can the piano insane. sound real? You see, a speaker is not supposed to have its own sound. An instrument does. Right? A Guaneri violin sounds different than a Stradivari, and the year is different, and a large piano, a grand concert piano sounds different than an upright. That's supposed to happen. A speaker should be completely neutral. So, for example, when we build a speaker enclosure like this, we don't build it out of a cheap plastics. We also don't build it out of cheap woods. You want this thing to be as dense as possible. And that is full. This, yeah, that's right. This, <laughs> this, this, this speaker full. weighs about 120 pounds. Out of the countertop material, you'll know the brands like Corian and Avonite. These are the man-made granite-type materials, which are 50 times more expensive than cheap woods and plastics. But when these drivers move in and out, this box no longer expands and contracts like it would if it were made 20 pounds worth of material or 30 pounds. At 120 pounds of material, when this driver goes in and this driver goes out, the box is no longer flexing in and out. Yeah. It's no longer causing resonances, which means in this area where you should really hear your sound, it sounds realistic. It sounds stunning. It's not colored with unfortunate sounds that a box may make. And in fact, this design is not just a design. This is engineering that makes this sound perfect. Absolutely. There's a reason for this here. That's called signal alignment. And only a few high-end manufacturers in the world do that. We are one of them. What we do is we actually measure the drivers, which, by the way, we build all of our own components. We build our own tweeters. We build our own mid-range. We manufacture our own woofers, etc. We actually mill this on our machines at 0 .002 of one inch tolerance, we mill this area out and we bring this tweeter back so that all the sound reaches you at the same time. If these were all in the same plane, which our less expensive products are and most speakers are, then the tweeter will actually get to you first, the mid-range seconds accordingly. Only the highest in brands take the care to take this area out and mill it and bring it back so that all those signals reach you at the same point in time. Another interesting aspect is you, you have your own amplifier system that makes that work perfectly. Absolutely. Just like with a car, you don't want to put in a thousand horsepower motor and a transmission that'll blow up as soon as you drop the clutch, right? <laughs> okay. So back here, maybe we can just take a quick look because we're not going to pull it apart and see the inside, but that is technology. Again, engineering technology. Exactly. This particular amplifier is what's called a fully differential output design. 
And again, right. there's only a handful of designs in the world to do that. Right. Well, maybe we can get, let our readers take a, take a quick close-up look here. Absolutely. What this amplifier is doing, it means that there's an output channel on the positive lead, which means it actually pushes the drivers out. And then another completely built amplifier, wired 180 degrees out of phase, pulls that driver back. So actually it becomes twice as fast, double the slew rate. So instead of a kick drum, like I said, going boom, it now goes boom, which is much more accurate much more realistic, and it doesn't give you the hearing fatigue. If you go into a dance club and you turn things too loud, in five minutes your ears are ringing. If you go into a recording studio with high-quality amplifiers that are fully differential output stage, with time-aligned, signal-aligned speakers, and so forth and so on, you can play it at any volume level you wish and leave without your ears ringing. Hey, Brian, you're, you're doing a lot of things in the States, but we're going to see you more often in Europe. I hope Absolutely. That. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Been looking for you next couple of months. Thanks again. again. Thank you very Cheers. much. Cheers.